Trustee Jerry Jones resigned suddenly, according to Hingyard. Me, uh, in the board, and also the clerk, we'll talk about our steps moving forward for her uh, filling that vacancy. Why do you think he resigned? You think he was caught up in the ditty shit? But what's more important that people need to be thinking about is who this person is that she's going to put in that position. Hey y'all, it's your girl J9 Eve. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, get into the comments and let me know what you think about this, okay? So I got to thinking, I just it just occurred to me, like the Thornton Township, one of the trustees quit. He just, you know, just gave up. He just said, you know what, I'm done. And I don't know what caused him to do this. And we could speculate. What I, what I just had not considered was who is gonna take his place? Because now since he's gone, okay, so <laughs> when he was there, okay, look, we, we just uh, we, listen to this, this news clip thing, and then we're going to get into it, okay? I, I, just, I, I just, I don't know what to think about it. I'm like, oh my God, what it could mean. Involving a controversial politician in the South suburbs, Tiffany Henyard was the only Thornton Township leader to show up for a scheduled meeting. Others telling us they're worried for their safety. CBS News Chicago is always investigating. Our Jermont Terry is live with a new twist in this month's long saga. That's a name, ain't it? Jermont. <laughs> Erica, good evening. The most no That's quite a name, Jermont Terry. <laughs> it's not like something I made up, you know? <laughs> notable difference tonight. Everyone entering this building behind me had uh -huh. to go through security. And it was because mm -hmm. of lack of security, the trustees opted to not attend tonight's meeting. And that just left Supervisor Tiffany Hingyard to make her own address on a variety of topics. Hold up, I didn't know that. So the trustees, the trustees said they were, their concern, the reason they didn't show up was because of security. I didn't know that they said that. I smell bullshit. Like that, I, I didn't even know. I didn't know that, that, that it, Germantaria, <laughs> German Terry is saying that is the first time I heard that. I did not know that that was the reason they said why they did not show up. They should have came up with something else. Like, I, I, they should have said anything else. Like, why? Or we don't want to. It's all. But security, safety issues for them? But Tiffany showing up? The one who's always outnumbered? Hated and outnumbered? She showed up in a blazer. That's weird. Okay. Mama just got distracted. I'm sorry. Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Hingyard entered the room to a nearly vacant board table. She gave the clerk a hug as every other seat next to them was vacant. Due to the fact that we do not have a quorum, uh, there will not be an actual voting meeting. The reason trustees did not show up, they argue, is due to this. <laughs> Like I said, it was about to get physical. Trustee Chris Gonzalez set out Tuesday night's meeting after he claims the trustees got no response from Hingyard about how she could keep these meetings safe. Oh, I do know the trustee also did send a, uh, um, a communication to the state. We need some help here because this is getting out of control and um, you know somebody's gonna get hurt. Safety is my top priority. Hingyard says the trustees insisted on having meetings in the basement overflow room. She says she wanted meetings in the board chambers where she sat alone Tuesday night. We called our security firm. We made sure they had ones. And we also told uh, our board to come upstairs due to the fact they had several ways to exit out of the building. Hingyard implied this was a stall tactic by the trustees. To say that it's an antic, uh, well, let's sit down and put something together. Well, to be honest, to be fair, it does kind of sound like an antic. I mean... If anybody was going to be worried about security, it seemed like it would have been Tiffany and Tiffany showed up. So, and coincidentally, it's when you guys lost one of your allied trustees that helped you with your votes. So, I mean, me as a person who loves to roast the shit out of Tiffany, I mean, just saying, um, you could have came up with something other than we didn't feel safe. You could have came up with something other than that. OK, that that that's definitely wasn't the reason. And it probably was just to be fair. OK, it probably was because they did lose that trustee. The one trustee leaving, they now don't have their majority. 
against Tiffany. So they don't have their majority anymore. So that he, I guess they didn't want a father coming in because if they try to pass something, she gonna win basically. And they didn't want to do that. They were basically like, kind of like my brother, my brother would be when we would play chess after he taught me how to play chess when I finally could beat him. When he would know that I was about to beat him, he would swipe all the pieces off the board. That's what y'all doing right now, okay? Y'all swiping all the chess pieces off the board to keep from losing, okay? That's what this looks like. You're fine. Don't do things like this. It makes us, it makes us all look bad for making fun of Tiffany because now you're wrong, <laughs> which makes us look wrong. <laughs> By us, I mean y'all. <laughs> a safety plan, and then mm -hmm. we'll just take it from there. But once again, there's no communication. Oh, no communication. One trustee did communicate with Hingyard and the clerk. Trustee Jerry Jones resigned suddenly, according to Hingyard. Me, uh, and the board, and also the clerk, we'll talk about our steps moving forward for her uh, filling that vacancy. Yeah, and her saying that was what perked up my antenna. The filling that vacancy. Who is she going to fill that vacancy with? Who is she going to put in that spot? Like she has her fave people, like her people who just kind of go along. It's probably whoever that lady is that's been following her around, like her homie. If I, if I had to say anything, it would probably, it's probably her. It's probably going to be, remember when, when Tiffany came like barging up into the, the um, Dalton trustees meeting, when she came up in there and all her pink. And her little friend that came in with her and sat in the little audience and then left when she left, came in with her when she came in and left when she left. Her little friend, if I had to guess, because she, she just puts people in here who just kind of already kind of go along with anything that she says. Either that or that bald guy who's always following her around like a little, you know, just go along and get along. Or the guy who I said I think might be her driver or something. I don't know, that little short dude. I don't know who it's going to be. But it'll be one of the people that I'm sure that we see always hanging around her with zero qualifications. We know that for sure. They'll have a criminal record and they'll have no qualifications. And then they're going to be hired. That's the third thing. They're going to, they're okay, they're going to, they have no qualifications, criminal record, and hired. That's what they're going to be. <laughs> but just think, but, but, but then we fast forward to the moment when that happens. So if, if Tiffany is allowed then to, fill that spot and she does of course she's going to fill it with somebody who's going to vote her way and then what happens then what happens so and she starts wanting to pass these things with this money that don't exist anymore because it's already spent I, I mean thornton is about to be looking like dope like i don't think that thornton is looking as bad as dalton is as far as them being completely bankrupt, not having anything, and just kind of weighing it right now. Broke, brokey. Broke, 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 broke. <laughs> I don't think there is bad, but I think this might actually do it. Like on the way out, there is worse that she can do. That's what people don't understand. She could do worse. She's not done yet. <laughs> like until she's out, she could clean this whole place out. She's already taken down a bunch of people with her. I mean, there's way worse that could be done. And it's weird. Like this guy right here, this turned out to be the guy who, who worked, walked up and served her papers. <laughs> it's so funny. It's actually kind of hilarious. He's the guy who, who walked up and served her papers during the meeting. A lawsuit, another lawsuit, where in which Tiffany said, hey, don't worry about this. I get served papers all the time. I get sued every, twice, three times a day. <laughs> Three times a day, at least, on a good day. On a productive day, three times. When I'm really putting my foot in it, five. <laughs> Since there was no official business address, Henyard took the time to speak out about a huge surplus she says exists in the township. It's around nine point something million dollar uh, surplus here in Thornton. Oh, nine point something? Oh, you can't just, just make up a number. Just say three. <laughs> township. <laughs> I mean, you made up the nine. Why not make up the point three? <laughs> You know, in addition to that nine million dollar plus surplus. Why you say it like that? Like he like, uh, and in addition to that nine point, you're like, oh, you don't believe her? 
It's like you don't believe, sir. You said that like you don't believe her. You don't believe Tiffany? Plus, surplus, she says, exists. Henyard also says <laughs> she's at, making $2 million dollars available to some 25,000 homeowners to help mm -hmm. in the high property taxes in the area. It's not Ooh, she done came up with some more. She got $2 million more. Why are you looking like this? Why is he making his face like he don't believe her? You got to hide this, this expression. You seem biased, sir. You seem biased. <laughs> It's not clear tonight exactly how anyone can get access to those funds. So that's a 2B. That's oh, I, I, sir, Jacoivius, I can tell you how you can get a hold of the <laughs> I can tell you how you can get a hold of the funds. You go to Tiffany's house, you lift up her mattress. That's where you're going to find all that cash you stole. It's just my theory. I can have that. Okay. But my theory is it's under her mattress. It's under her mattress. She don't think that complicated. Like, Tiffany is not like a complex thinker. You know what I'm saying? That's why her lies are so easy to pick apart. She don't She don't really think it really fully through. She just has this expectation of, I'm special, so you have to believe me. So she tells half-assed lies that don't make sense. <laughs> so if she was going to, you, when you think in your mind, where would Tiffany, where would a Tiffany hide a million dollars? <laughs> it's under a mattress. <laughs> it's under her mattress. It's not even inside. She didn't cut a hole and, and put it in the mattress. It's just between the two mattresses. It's just, it's just right down the edge. You know, so just reach your hand in and you'll feel it. Okay? So that's where it's at. Not complicated. Not going to be hard for you. Determine. As for Trustee Jones, his resignation, we should point out he is the senior or was the senior trustee on this board. It's not clear why he resigned all of a sudden. Mm, not clear why he resigned. Why do y'all think he resigned? Why do you think he resigned? You think he was caught up in the Diddy shit? <laughs> Everybody else is quitting because of Diddy. Okay. They know that there's a video out there with them partying with Diddy. You know, Diddy be wanting to party and you got to tell him no. Maybe, you know, it's, was he there? Was he there? I don't know. We can speculate all day long. I, I doubt it. I doubt. I doubt it. But I, wa I do wonder why he, why he quit. I mean, not, it's not, I mean, it's not like, this amazingly odd thing that he would quit. I would quit. <laughs> I would never want to work there. <laughs> I would never want to work there. Do you hear me? I would never want to do it. <laughs> so I understand why anyone would quit. But I, I am curious to know, and I'm sure we'll find out exactly why he quit. But what's more important that people need to be thinking about is who this person is that she's going to put in that position. We know that how rebellious she is. She's not going to ask nobody's permission. She's not going to go for no vote about it. She's just going to put somebody in there. The person is going to be a Tiffany yes man or woman. My theory is, my theory is, it's going to be her homegirl. That girl that's been following her around that was at that beating. My theory is, it's going to be her. It's gonna, I think it's going to be her. I post a video, I post a picture right here. So you remember her, okay? But I think it's going to be her. That's my theory, okay? Y'all let me know in the comments who you think she's going to put in that position. Who do you think she's going to fill that spot? And how much of a yes man and how far up Tiffany's butt will this person be? I say all the way, okay? All the way. Oh, y'all behave, all right? Y'all behave. Let me know in the comments, really. Because there might be some people I'm not thinking of. Who you think she's going to put in that position? And what do you think the first thing she's going to vote into action once that happens? When she can finally get her yes, her yes vote. Ugh! Oh my God, it's going to be terrible. It just keeps getting worse and weirder. Okay. Mama love you. Yes, you do. Ooh. Peace. <laughs>